I want everybody from this moment on to recognize me as the scholar of boxing. Most people don't know shit about that at all. Did you get what you were looking for? I want you to notice something right here. Tommy Hearns takes his jab out, right? He sticks his jab off and then he just moves and takes a step back because he has such a long reach and Pepino Cuevas cannot touch him at all, right? And now that he's cleared the danger and took a little step back, he puts his hand right back out, right back out to measure him and then he blocks his vision, right? And then he drops the right hand right over the top of it. Very fast move, catches Pepino Cuevas and he wavers like a, a tree, like a tree during a hurricane. And then Tommy Hearns just comes in and finishes him off, right? But here, got a great guy named Sugar Ray uh, Leonard, right? He sticks his arm out and blocks his vision. What does Sugar Ray do? He leans in, leans in and taunts him just so he can make that move again. And then when Tommy Hearns does it, he pulls out of range and then rolls his shoulder and makes the right hand catch on his shoulder and then backs up to the ropes, right? Tommy Hearns catches him with a body shot and then catches him with a, another hook and then sticks his lead hand back out, tries to block his vision, and Sugar Ray, being the smart fighter that he is, tries to lean to his left. He was gonna land some body work over there, but Tommy Hearns has his elbow there. So he just leans back the other side and slaps his hand down, and then throws a left hook, and then tries to land a right hand over the top of that. And now Tommy Hearns has to respect him and back up off of him, so now he can escape and get up off the ropes. A lot of boxing is complex if you make it complex, but it's really simple if you don't make it hard. But anyway, it's the Boxing Scholar, and I'm out.